Uh, good morning, uh, Year 9. Um, sorry we couldn't be with you live in the uh, sports hall this morning, um, but we just have to be quite sensible about getting lots of you together in one space. But I thought it was very important still to have the opportunity to talk to you about um, careers and what I was going to talk to you about in the Assembly today. So let's have a look. So it's really now about thinking about uh, where your life will take you. And I'd actually just like you to stop and have a bit of a think for a second um, and just consider to yourself quietly, um, so don't need to talk to anyone else, um, where would you like to be in five years? What In your head, what's your plan? Where do you see yourself? So right now, you might be in you know, a kind of 14 years old. Where would you be when you're 19, maybe 20? Uh, just, just have a little think about that. Project yourself forward in five years' time. Now, it could be a difficult question to answer. And for some of you, the answer might be, I don't know. But I think it's quite important to at least think about it. You don't need to know exactly uh, what you're going to do, um, where you're going to study, anything like that. And you might find that uh, your parents are like, oh, you need to know what you have, you're going to do. You don't. But what you do need to do is you need to be thinking about it and taking the right steps that means that you can get to where you need to go and you've planned for it and you've really thought it through. So now is the time to kickstart your career. This year, we had a virtual options evening for you and it was an opportunity for you to start to choose your GCSEs. And this is the first time where really you've had a choice in what you study. There are still st still subjects that you have to study. Um, you don't have any choice uh, because there's just certain things that are really good for you to know and to learn. But you're starting to get the opportunity to choose a few things. So a couple of option subjects that might take you in a certain direction. Now, talking about a certain direction, you might remember uh, about a month or so ago, we uh, had this assembly where I interviewed a whole range of students who used to come here and are now studying at university. And they would have had that same thought, where am I gonna be in five years? And for some of them now, the answer is at university. Um, you can see Amir on the bottom left there. He's still at university about five years later because he's now doing a PhD, which is, you might have heard, is a doctorate. Um, so he will be a doctor of engineering. Sean on the bottom right is at Oxford, arguably um, one of the top two or three universities in the world as Jeremy Clarkson would say. And Megan has just started, I think, in now the second year, um, studying French and German. And every single one of these students definitely went through that phase of, I'm not sure what I want to do. So here's a nice little map. Um, in the past, this map used to be fairly empty. But now every one of those little W6 uh, boxes that you can see there is actually somewhere that one of our students has gone to university. So you can see how many places they've gone to and quite interesting how far and wide. So all the way from the far kind of west down the bottom there, right up north, um, all over the place, which I think is really, really interesting. And so then uh, we see out here, if you've had an opportunity to walk through the Aspire Courtyard, you'd see these boards. And there's two of them, actually. And um, Mr. Kington organized these and got all the names put on them. Unfortunately, it looks like they're going to fill up already. So this is the names of every single student since 2016 uh, or 2014, I think. Um, so like the last five or six years or so, um, who has gone to university. And the numbers every year increases. It gets bigger and bigger. And I think what's really interesting is the kinds of courses that students go to has changed completely. These are just some examples like maths, ocean science, product design and innovation, journalism, robotics, uh, biomedical science, linguistics. You know, these are things you've probably never even heard of. Or if you have, you, probably, you, know, you might not know what they are. And we definitely don't teach um, a lot of those subjects here because they're just things that are in the future that are really kind of top level university type degrees. Uh, but it's about what can you do now to help prepare you to perhaps get to this stage. Now, I'm not saying that everybody has to go to university, but it's good to have that ambition because it will make you aim high. So you're on this journey and, you know, not that long ago, you were in primary school. And then you came to secondary school a few years ago. And now you're in this little phase in here where you're making some choices. And then soon enough, you'll be joining us as part of your seven year journey at the school, joining us in sixth form. And then from there, you may decide that you want to go on to further education like university. So where 
where where are we on this journey? What are we doing now? So when it's time to choose, what are you doing? So you have to think about, are you taking control? Are you actually thinking about how my education is going to get me to where I need to go? Am I thinking about how my subjects are developing skills in me? So sometimes I hear things which kind of drives me crazy. People say, oh, why am I doing French? I'm never going to go to France. And it's like, that's just not the mentality. The mentality should be, well, by doing French, I learn a lot about problem solving. I learn about, a lot about um, communication. I learn about um, persistence and trying hard because they're difficult. Um, so it's not about specifically the French bit. It's the skills that you develop. And it makes you very good at lots of things. Are you just cruising? Are you sitting here today, almost in July, just kind of going with the flow? Every single day is a day towards your future and your career. Are you making the most of your time? Are you getting involved in everything? You can ask the year 12 students now who are going into year 13. They're writing personal statements for the university application. And they some of them are realizing, actually, it's been a real advantage having got involved in a lot of extra stuff. So not just your nine to four, nine to three lessons from period one to period five, what extras did you get involved in? Did you do performing arts? Did you do music? Did you sport? Did you do a club? Did you play chess? Did you do Dungeons and Dragons? Did you join the newspaper club? Whatever it is, are you making the most of your time so you're really skilling yourself up because the world is competitive out there? And unfortunately, even with COVID, that has become even more competitive. So you've really got to make yourself the best you can possibly be. So there are some important things to know. As you go along, you'll be opening and closing doors. So if you've got excellent behavior, excellent attendance, then that opens a door because you walk away with a record, with a reference that says, yes, you turned up every day. Yes, you had brilliant attendance because if you, uh, if you, you or you had brilliant um, behavior, those kind of things will follow you around. So if you're making decisions today about disrupting learning, uh, maybe getting on cold, that kind of stuff will close doors because it doesn't paint a good picture of you. And employers and um, other educators will make decisions about your suitability. So making sure you've got the best record, it's a bit like a visa in a passport. You want something that's gonna let you in, okay? So it's a bit like here with Stuart, you know, you've gotta be this tall to go on this ride. And if you're not, then you're kind of, you're limiting yourself and there's only certain things you can go on. So you can only ride on the teacups. Um, and lots of the next steps you'll go into. So once you go through year 10 and 11, you'll find that actually your GCSEs are the next ticket into sixth form, that you have certain grades you have to achieve. So it's not just getting a four, it's about getting the best you can. Some subjects might need you to get a six or a seven to progress with it into A level. Are you working from day one at that level that's gonna let you get those grades? So to get you there, what help do you get from us? Now, obviously, you have brilliant teachers who give you brilliant support and they teach you amazing stuff and they really help focus you. But you're not a passenger. You have to be in the driving seat. But to drive you in the right direction, we'll give you some help. So when you get into the end of year 10, coming into year 11, uh, you'll, you'll get a careers interview one-to-one -to, -one to talk with Mrs. Morley um, about your future plans, your ambitions, and you'll get some tips and advice on how to get there. Uh, we have careers lunches. So there will be opportunities where business people come in and you get to meet them normally kind of around lunchtime after lunch and talk to them in a bit of a kind of a networking event and talk to them about what they do, uh, what kind of skills they look for and um, really get a sense of where your education can lead you. We then have further down the line, there are things like the six form open evening um, and we can interview you as well. So an opportunity to, again, to talk about where's your education gonna take you. Uh, next year coming up, you'll be in year group tutor groups. There'll be a lot of stuff in tutor time about careers. In your lessons, your teachers will be talking to you about how does your subject that you're doing fit in with the world of work. We'll continue with these assemblies. So lots of things that are gonna drip feed to you about where your education can take you. Um, will then have, um, you, you know, you've been to things like you've come to open evenings. Um, those kind of things help you understand what things are available. Um, the options evening you just went through, you're able to pop into different virtual rooms and talk to teachers about where can this subject lead? We will work with universities to have them come in and you can talk to uh, lecturers or students about um, what they're doing. And as I mentioned, we have our employees coming in, but at the end of year 10, there's also an opportunity for you to go out and visit 
different workplaces. So in the past, we've gone out to places like American Express, uh, the fire service, the Grand Hotel, lots of places for you to get a sense of what does the world of work look like. So what can you do to help yourself? And this is where I'll wrap it up. So we're going to start relaunching this again. So Start Profile, some of you will have used already, which is brilliant. The system had a massive upgrade and it's a lot more powerful and a lot more um, kind of helpful and useful. So there will be an opportunity now for you to start to have a look on starts, no pun intended, uh, to see where can your future take you? What do you like? What don't you like? What kind of manner of working do you have? Do you like working in groups? Do you like working on your own? Are you a good communicator? Have you got good mathematical skills? And this system will start to recommend to you some different job profiles that you might not have considered. So really, my message is in the coming weeks and into coming into next year, you need to now think, are you working hard? Are you taking control? And are you aiming high? So I'm going to leave you with that. And I want you over the next week, um, particularly on Wednesday when we have the activity, start to think about what is it you want to do with your future and how are you going to get there? Are you in the driving seat or are you a passenger? Have a great day, you nine, and I hope to speak to you soon.